Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. Also, you need to turn off the water to the refrigerator. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the water filter housing assembly in the Samsung refrigerator. It's going to be a very easy repair. Should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips and a flat blade screwdrivers, the putty knife, and a small utility knife. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new water filter housing assembly. This water filter housing assembly connects the water filter to the water flow system of the refrigerator and allow for easy replacement of the filter. If the water filter won't stay in place or you find a water puddle at the bottom of the compartment, check the water filter housing assembly and replace it if needed. To get to the part, we need to open both doors. Next, I'm going to remove both vegetable drawers, pulling straight out, lifting up and sliding out. Same thing here. Next, I'm going to remove the shelves and lift up and release that rear hooks. And same thing here. And now I'm going to remove these two. To remove the vegetable drawer cover, we need to press simultaneously two buttons here on the sides. That's uh, the, like locking tabs. Push it in and lift up. To release it. Now we can slide it out. All right, so we're at the back of the fridge and uh, what needs to be done is this water tube connected to the water supply. So you need to take out this uh, main water supply, make sure you turn off the water and then the cut off this uh, nut from this line. So next thing we need to take off this cover. So I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. I'm going to take out the single screw at the bottom of the cover and we're going to pull this off. See, there's two little tabs that are inserted up, so we're going to pull it down. Now we're going to release this water line. See this little slot over here? We're going to insert the flat glass screwdriver. We're going to pry off this security cover. And then I'm going to push down on this collar here and pull out the water line. Prepare to have some water coming out. So this uh, red cover, snap it on the connector. Now I'm going to use the Phillips screwdriver. We're going to take out this uh, screw and we're going to remove this uh, holder bracket. So we're going to go up on the line here and uh, Remove this bracket also. That's a Phillips screw. And now we're going to remove this uh, red red cap. Flat blade screwdriver. We're going to pry it off. Then I let it go. Then we're going to press in this collar and pull out the line also. You will have some water there probably. So you can use a towel. Okay. Now I'm going to slide up this uh, red cap and I'm going to put it back onto this uh, coupler. Now we're at the front of the fridge and now we can take out this module. We're going to place my mighty fingers underneath. We're going to lift up on the shelf and we're going to lift up on the assembly. There is a locking uh, tab at the bottom, so I'm going to 
pull it up and then pull it straight out. Now we need to remove these two plugs. There's a tap here. I'm pushing it down and pulling on the plug. And now I need to press here. That, that there's a tab right there. And pull the plug. Next we're going to pull out the water lines. And uh, take this module to the table so we can disassemble it. Alright, so we're here on the table. And we're going to remove the filter. I'm going to unscrew it, turning it counterclockwise. And pull it out. Remember, there's a water inside, so keep it this way. All right, next we're going to remove this front cap. Use the flat blade screwdriver. We're going to pry it off. Put it aside. We're going to reuse it, obviously. So now we're going to take out three Phillips screws. One, two, and three. We're going to start here. You can start at any one of them. And next, I'm going to take out this pad. Just uh, pulls out. Keep it. Don't throw it away. All right, so next I'm going to peel this label off because it's holding two pieces together. All right, just partially. I'm going to use this flat blade screwdriver. going to Pry these clips open. And uh, two at the bottom. Now we're going to separate them. I'm going to take this insulation off. Now I'm going to take this harness out. And we can put this half out of the way. And next I'm going to remove these two screws using a Phillips screwdriver. And I'm going to turn it counterclockwise. And uh, we can lift this off. This is our part that we're replacing. Next step would be using a flat disc screwdriver. Remove this uh, safety clip. Oop. Don't go away. Keep it handy. And now we're going to press down on this uh, locking collar and pull out the water line. All right. So our next step would be releasing this uh, tube out of this uh, jam. So the only way to do it is uh, cutting it. So we're gonna slice it with uh, using uh, any knife. I'm using a utility knife. Careful, don't get too excited. All right, you can remove the old part. and prepare for the installation of the new one. This is the old water filter housing assembly next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from appliancepartspros.com. So we have here a, a new water filter housing and I'm gonna start the installation uh, from placing the water line right in this loop. Next, we're going to push this over the blue tube. So I'm gonna right into this port press it in and now we're going to install this uh, locking ring okay we're going to install this housing on those two tubes and secure it with a couple of Phillips screws using a beautiful beautiful Phillips screwdriver 
gonna place this uh, water line into this bunch. I'm gonna squeeze it and then I'm gonna use some tape and we're going to tape it together. Do not tape it hard together, just loosely. All right, just like that. Next we're going to bring this half and uh, we're going to bring the harness down into this channel and I'm going to lock it in. Just like that. Next I'm going to install this foam insulation block. We're going to insert uh, the water lines through. Like that. And I'm going to place it in. in the both halves of the module. And now we're going to squeeze it in and lock these tabs. Next we'll be securing it uh, together with uh, three Phillips screws. I'm going to install the screw in there. I'm going to secure it with a Phillips screwdriver. Now I'm going to install this sticker back. Now I'm going to slide this drip pan in. Push it in, it's going to lock. And next I'm going to install the head. Right now I'm going to place the filter in. I'm going to slide it in. Push it in and turn it clockwise. So these two arrows meet. And we're going to install it into the fridge. Now I'm going to feed these water lines into this opening at the back. And next would be connecting these two plugs. So I'm going to start with the smaller one. Press it in, it clicks when it locks in. And the large one, same way. All right, so we have this uh, lock here and this tab. So we're going to slide it on. And it locked. Now I'm going to connect this short tube into this connector. Press it in all the way. Next I'm going to install the cover. So I'm going to have the tubes in this order. And I'm going to install the cover. There's two tabs on the top goes under the uh, chassis or the cabinet. And then we're going to put this one on the left, press it in, and we're going to secure it with a single Phillips screw. I'm using a Phillips screwdriver. This water line will be connected to the water inlet, and this one is going up over there on the top to the water dispenser. We're going to slide this line into the coupler. Press it in as far as it goes. Next, we're going to install two holders here. I'm going to place it on the tube and secure it with a screw. That's a Phillips screw. I'm going to tighten it. There's a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to slide down and uh, Right there, we're going to install the second holder. And again, we're going to secure it with the Phillips screw. Now, I'm going to install the vegetable drawer cover. Bring it in. And we're going to slide it 
back, push it all the way, press it down, and then we're going to lock it at here with the two side locking tabs. I'm going to bring it up and press it down. Now we're going to install this uh, bottom row shelves in. The hooks at the back goes into the cutouts. And the one next to it. And the top row. Next would be the drawers. I'm going to slide it in slightly on the side and then in and I can uh, slide it in. Same thing here. Slightly on the side and then we can slide it in. And now when we're done we can close the doors. Plug the fridge in, open the water and check if there are any leaks. Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other videos available on our site, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram.